today guys uh, Marlon Hamilton here again with another video um, one of my students asked the question how to trade um, if both markets are correlated positively correlated and my my answer to that is um, you know if you're going to risk a hundred pounds right and that's your normal risk per trade then you can either take one of the trade or you could take both trades but instead of risking a hundred pounds on each of them because what you're doing actually you're doubling your risk so the best thing to do would be to trade 50 pounds on one and 50 pounds on the other so when i say 50 pounds on one and 50 pounds on the other i mean you're risking 50 pounds so say for example your entry is there and your stop loss is say there right okay so we're looking to buy and then here as well we're looking um looking here as well over here we're looking at um your entry is here and your stop is here now if you were to risk say okay say this level of risk that you're willing to take so therefore you say this market is going to go up but the market went down so say for example you are risking um um say you're going to risk say 50 pounds on this trade so therefore if the market go against your chosen direction your chosen direction then all you will lose on this trade yeah it would be 50 pounds so this risk if the market you want the market to move above this zone but the market hits this entry point because this is where you said if the market comes to this point then i want to be triggered into the trade right but the market hits this then come all the way down to here and this is where you put your stop loss if the market goes below this point then you want to be out of the trade now anyway the market comes and hit this point so therefore you've lost 50 pounds now let's do the same for the other chart and here now we have got right um another um another 50 pounds okay okay so similar thing here you're looking to risk 50 pounds here however if you were to take both trades and use your same risk level knowing that they are positively correlated then you'll be risking a hundred pounds on here and a hundred pounds in here. Now, if your standard risk per trade is a hundred pounds, then you're just sharing it. Because if you think about it, as much as they move roughly the same, right? Um, say for example, we bought here, bought there, then roughly the same sort of outcome. But if you notice this pullback here and there was slightly different. Okay? So you might have been say stopped out of one, but not the other um so you know you've got a sort of better chance of you know preserving your capital more than anything else so my recommendation would be if you realize that the two both markets are correlated i would recommend that um you either split it or for you know i, I would i would recommend that you split your risk between both trades or only take one and use your maximum but what sometimes happen and that's the reason why I say to my students that it's probably better if you split the trade because for example you take this one and remember they're only based on um, based on my FX book um, and it was um, the USD CAD GBP CAD USD CAD GBP CAD okay okay they're 89 percent correlation so it's not it's not 90 percent it's it's 89 percent close it was 98 percent 99 percent you know they're almost 100 percent so there's an element of not going exactly there's you know like you know approximately um you know 11 percent you know out of sync um on, on the daily time frame so one of the hardest thing um for people trading using correlation um, is that you say okay you're gonna put the trade the full hundred pounds on this trade 
and then only to say that the market pulls back, stop you, and then going. Whereas this one, right, pulls back, didn't stop you, but then end up going in your favor. You know, so we almost want to do is, you know, if you share both of them, then yeah, you, you feel less pain. Okay, so as usual, you know, continue to subscribe to my channel, continue to ask your questions. I'll be happy to help. God bless and peace out.